Hi, I just wanted to share with you a bit what God is putting on my heart this week. Um, so every week I sit down and I pray and I spend some time with God and ask him about what he wants me to blog about that week. So every Monday we bring out a new blog post. Um, I say we, that's God and myself. Um, so again, yesterday I didn't have a clue what um, what I was going to be writing about. So, so I prayed, and yeah, he just literally it was clear. He said, "I'll oh, write about lament." So I was like, "Oh, I'm not a hundred percent about it." So um, did some research, and anyway, long story short, um, I wrote a blog post yesterday. I don't know if you've seen it yet or not, but I will put the link in the comments. Um, and yeah, it's about what is lamentation or what is lamenting and why we should do it and how to do it and why it benefits us. And the answer is it's good for our well-being. And wow, is there so many examples in the Bible of lament and the amount of people that did it and how to do it there's many a psalm um, that is a form of lament um, it is a form of expressing expressing a deep hurt and sadness and sorrow um, and it's, it's healthy to do so um, as it says so it says so right there in the word so that was yesterday's blog post and um, yeah I just today I just popped on a counselling session and I was ready to say oh I'm feeling great um, I think we can start weaning off now um, and yeah because it's so the reason I started counselling in the first place is to do with the neurocardiogenic syncope which I have so it's like a vicious circle when it gets bad again it affects my mental health now I say that it used to affect it quite very severely um, to the point of when every time it started again. Um, so back in 2018, you've probably heard the story many a time if you um, follow me or listen to any of my testimonies or stories, but um, I lost my driving license. I couldn't um, go out on my own. Um, I, I, I lost my job and I was so basically I was grieving and I went through this whole process of grief and eventually I submitted and gave up myself to God and asked him to help and basically the rest is history I'm not going to go into all that again because I've repeated myself so many times you're probably getting bored of hearing it to be honest but my point of this video today is but it's it's all about lamenting and so yeah back to the counselling um I've been well apart from this ear infection the fainting side of things seems to have eased at the moment and um yeah I've God's helped me through anxiety I no longer get depressed anymore I certainly don't self-harm it's been a long time since that's happened and I've just looked back through my journey in this process with God and the history of this whole fainting episodes and I've just looked back and seen how much he has brought me through and where I was then and how I am now and I just want to help other people dealing with with that process um, of, of grief because that is exactly what it is. So um, today I said, I said to my counsellor, I said, no, I'm doing a lot better. I'm, I think we can start weaning this off. Anyway, so she said to me, so how would you feel if you fainted tomorrow? Or words to that, to that extent. And it felt like she hit me. It felt like she hit me. 
and I just broke down and I started crying. I was like, you know what? I would feel disappointed. I'd be sad. I'd be probably feel sorry for myself. Um, and yeah, those those feelings are still there. And I got really cross at myself for feeling those feelings because <laughs> half an hour earlier I, I was good and things were great. Um, excuse me. And so I, I said to her, I don't know, why why are these feelings still there? And she said, You've made progress. Look at where you've come from and look where you are now. And you know when I said it hit me, it hit me here. And if I imagine those feelings where they were last year or a few years ago, they were deep, deep down. I couldn't even see them. I didn't even know that they were there. Excuse me. <laughs> My eyes are leaking. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't know that they were there, those feelings before. I'd buried them so much that every time I went through another bad patch, I would go through this whole stages of grief again and depression again and self-harm but like I said oh, I haven't self-harmed for over two years now and I can safely say I definitely don't get depressed anymore I have moments where I might feel a bit meh or feel sorry for myself but that passes that passes within like an hour at the most minutes sometimes seconds but my point of this video is that we it's okay to feel these emotions and it's healthy to recognize these emotions and we are human we are on this world and we will experience grief and sorrow and sadness it's part of life on this earth until we are in heaven we will experience all those things and as you will see in the post it's okay and it's healthy and I'm not gonna say we want to experience these feelings because chances are we don't <laughs> I don't want to experience these feelings I got really cross with myself to experience these feelings but I, I learned within quite quickly <laughs> from that that it was okay that I felt like that because yeah like she said how would you feel if that was taken if you fainted again I'd be like oh I recognize them that and and that's the point in this video is it's okay to have feelings in fact, I encourage you to recognise what you are feeling. So ask yourself, how are you feeling right now? I mean, really. If you think about it, how are you feeling? If you're happy, then great. Praise, worship, thank God. If you're sad, then it might not feel great, but it's okay. And God also wants you to express that. So, make a note. Take time to stop and recognise how you're feeling. And watch it. Look at those thoughts and feelings and then give them to God just hand them over to God and that's how God wants us to be and that's how we need to deal with our thoughts feelings and emotions and remember as I said it's okay not to be okay just, just express that recognize that and hand them over to God. So 
So ask yourself today. Ask yourself tomorrow. Take time to just stop. Stand back and ask yourself. How are you feeling? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have blessed us with in this earth. Thank you that you know our hearts. Thank you that you can understand us because of Jesus who came down on this earth as a human, you know our thoughts and our inmost feelings, even when we don't recognise it ourselves. And Lord, I just ask to help everybody, everyone listening to this today, including myself, to recognise our thoughts and feelings and our emotions as and when they come. Help us to watch them, look at them, experience them, feel them, and then give them to you. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have blessed us with. Thank you for your almighty peace and your joy that you so freely give us. Let us just worship and thank you Jesus and all of this. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. I will see you all again soon. God bless.